Hi everyone, I just wanted to do a really short video today uh, on a subject that came up with another client um, earlier this week about how to send mind movies to animals. Um, animals are most receptive to videos and movies and pictures in their heads. And so what I call mind movies are basically a visualization of what you want the animal to get from you. That is most effective when you send it ahead of time. I tell a story of wanting to get my mare, Daisy, to meet me at the gate whenever I went to the farm where she was boarded a few years ago. So I started a few days before I would meet her and I sent her a movie in my mind of what I wanted to see when I got there. So I pictured her hearing my truck or seeing it pulled in, which she always recognizes, and coming to the gate to greet me, rather than me having to walk all the way out in the pasture um, to, to greet her and get her. So it took um, one or two trips, maybe on the third trip or the fourth trip, I don't quite remember, she was closer than she had ever been. And then the next time she was even closer than that. And then the next time she was at the gate. So I kept sending her those mind movies every time I would go to the farm to see her. And it took, like I said, four or five times for her to meet me at the gate. So I stopped doing it. And I noticed after a few weeks, she stopped doing it. So I had to refresh her every now and then, and then it was no problem. She got it. She integrated it into our ritual. And now, even all these years later, which probably that was, you know, four or five years ago, um, whenever I pull in and she hears my truck, she lifts her head and looks at me like, are you coming to see me or are you going in the house? Because now she lives with me. So anytime there is anything that I need to communicate to any of my animals uh, or anyone else's animals, I send them a mind movie. I visualize what I want to see. I visualize how I want it to go. And then I send that movie to the animal. And after that, and this is an important step, I visualize the animal receiving the message and understanding it. It's important that you do that every time that you picture them in your mind and send that part to the animal as well of them receiving it and understanding it. So I hope this is helpful to you, no matter what you do, no matter what your role is with animals. If you will get in the habit of sending them mind movies a day or two or however far in advance you can um, before you have the interaction with them, it will be helpful. I used it this morning with my dog, Jessie, when we went to the vet. Started yesterday sending her a mind movie of how I wanted the vet visit to go. And it went exactly as I planned, uh, of course. So it does work, try it for yourself. Let me know whether it works for you or not. Sometimes we may have to tweak things a little bit, but I'm happy to um, coach you on that so that your interaction with your animals is better than it has been before. As always, you can email me at whisperingheartsac at gmail.com or visit my website, www.whisperingheartsac.net.